thing right now. We got so many sky spy photos from the past couple of hours of that beautiful sun. And so watch out even for the cattle, the newborn livestock, especially here uh, as they're easily impacted too by those uh, wind chills and actual temperatures. But there's beauty in this at the same time. And so we just go across the region. Powers Lake, thanks to Diana Melikar for sending this one in. And we go to Tioga of a beautiful uh, sky spy photo. Thanks to Vincent. And I'm going to leave here with this one. This is an Esmond, but what's what are these called? Well, this is a circumzetical arc. We go to a 22 degree halo. That's the one that we usually see as well as the sun dogs right there on the far edges. And so there's so many other ones that um, are not pictured in this one. They don't happen every day. They're very, very rare, uh, but there's uh, quite a few different names and um, just, yeah, snaps a, a picture anytime you see that and send it to skyspyphotos.com. Now, in all honesty, though, you have to be careful when you are spending time outside when it's this cold because the frostbite can build and touch upon your skin in a matter of just a couple of minutes, especially by Saturday and Sunday where we're looking at wind chills easily 50 to 55 degrees below zero. And we will get there. So you know the drill, but of course I have to keep emphasizing this to dress in layers and cover all exposed skin. If you are taking that road trip, have the winter survival kit in your car and have a full tank of gas just in case anything happens. And protect your pets and livestock, check on family, friends, and yes, your neighbors. But we get down to the nitty gritty right now. Our temperatures are at zero in Bismarck to three below in Dickinson, four below in Minot. I'm sorry that the weather station in Williston at the airport is down, uh, but just do know that your big basically just as cold as everyone else, uh, if not a little bit colder, like in the Crosby area reporting a 30 below wind chill or so. And so we talk about three o'clock this afternoon. Our actual temperatures are sticking near zero in addition to those mostly sunny skies. But as we wake up now tomorrow morning, well, now we're going to build in more cloud cover because now we're introducing a clipper system or a shortwave trough. And so that's going to produce from Friday morning through our uh, Saturday morning, maybe even into the afternoon, one to two inches of snow. Uh, in addition to actual temperatures on Friday morning, 10 degrees below zero, near zero, we go for daytime highs once more, but I still think it's going to be that struggle to get above. The center of the Arctic high builds in once we go into our Saturday over eastern Montana, and that's going to lead to the coldest point of this whole Arctic blast on Saturday and Sunday. Sunday morning, we're looking at actual low temperatures, 20 degrees below zero, and, and the light snow again is produced here from Friday morning through Saturday, maybe even into the afternoon hours. But Krista, intense cold is on the way for both fr uh, Saturday and Sunday morning easily 40 to 50, maybe even 55 degrees below zero. Yeah, it is so cold and it's not just us. It's it's a lot of other places. I too. mean, yeah, even Texas by this weekend will have temperatures in the single digits. Yeah, mm -hmm. get ready for the cold. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Heidi.